What is up, everybody? Did you ever get the feeling that you just want to quit your job and run away? Me too. And that's exactly what my wife and I did. Well, what we're trying to do. You ever get the feeling, damn, I want to live in a minivan? Yeah, us either. But sometimes you just got to work with what you have. So let's do it. We start out with a standard piece of plywood. What is that? Four by eight, six by eight? Cut that down to something that my wife and I can sleep on comfortably. We're not large people at all. So we went with four by six. That would be perfect for us. We got some legs in the back. Those are going to be longer than your legs in the front, because I got to tell you, in these minivans, there is nothing level about them. They are different heights throughout. Oh, there's me. Acting like I'm working. Setting up for the day. Uh, all of these materials literally came out of my basement. I did not have to buy anything, and thank God, because like I said, we quit our jobs. The man in the orange shirt would be my uncle, who is the only one of us two who know how to do anything. I am literally, I will hold things for you, I will run and get things for you, don't know what I'm doing, don't ask me to measure, it will not be accurate. What we want to do is cut this, not in half, but like a third of the way up, so that we're going to be able to attach hinges to that so that we can then fold it up into a couch position for when we want to sit up, read, watch the laptop, what have you. Leave all the work to him, as you see. But I, I pretend as if me standing there holding that did anything at all. But it made me feel better. Some lifting things, feeling way better about myself. See, those three legs in the middle there, there's a section in the van where there are these little nubs that stick up. I'm sure they're in your van too. We drilled a hole in the center of the bottom of each of those three legs and they fit right down on top of those nubs snugly just for a little extra security so that thing is not going to be moving around while we're driving and those two legs in the front up against the uh, driver and passenger seat those legs are wedged down into holes oh, i mean it's not really a hole but it's like a, an opening in the floor somewhere like where the seats used to be they're obviously not there now eh. now see we can fold that into a couch perfect perfect metal blade, the excess screws. Sounds dry. Danger. Here's me pretending like I'm doing something. He's trying to explain to me how to use this. And I'm just not listening whatsoever. That's made more for like I said, plywood and stuff like that. That's made more wood, for like a strong person. Uh, there we've made two little legs on each side and they are literally resting on, there's just like a little bit of floor that comes out into the trunk and those pieces are resting right on those and those two longer pieces that are in the trunk they are freestanding they're not even screwed in so that whenever we um lift up the back they don't come flying up out
Thank you.